I believe I had a hat. We'll just have to try again elsewhere. I don't understand, Signore. You did win, didn't you? True. I bested him. But in a gentlemanly duel, it's not considered good form to kill an opponent after they yield. It was an accident. The Duchess ruled it a foul, and being noble, she is therefore just and right. So, <clears throat> where to next, Niccolo? Um. Piacenza is only a three-day journey. That far? Well, perhaps we could pass the time with training. Training? I don't need training. No, training me. And swordsmanship. You know, the reason I'm carrying all of your things. The gentlemanly arts can be taught only by a swordmaster, which is a title I do not yet possess. Have you forgotten the forms? No, I just thought you'd have them like seven towns ago. And besides, train you with what? We haven't a proper sword for you yet. I'll use a stick. No one will know. A stick doesn't have a ricasso, nor a crossguard. I'm not training you to be a cudgel-wielding peasant. Not training me at all. Where's the loaf we bought? I believe we ate it all, Signore. I didn't eat it all. I had some too. 
Ah, we must find a market and buy some more. My, my purse is empty. Not to worry, I have plenty of money left. See? Aha! How long have I been carrying marbles? Where's my other pouch? You, you just have the one, Signore. Greetings and salutations, my good man. How are you on this fine afternoon? I am Fiore Furlano de Cividale de Austria Deli Liberi da Premariaccio, itinerant swordsman of repute. The pleasure is yours, I'm sure. Now, I see you are in a large possession of what I presume to be sustenance. Are you going to rob me? I? What? <laughs> no, I am a gentleman. I'm merely curious about the edible state of your wagon load. Uh, what he means is, do you have anything to eat? We're very hungry. Oh, well, this is grain. You can't eat it until it's bread. Grain into bread? That can't be right. Bread is an animal product. You but the... Uh, anyway, I have a loaf. Wonderful. We gladly accept. Uh, no, it's for me, unless you got money. There's a job for me in Piacenza. I can pay you in a few days' time. Look, I'll tell you what. The dresses became confusing, and that's why women can never become swordsmen. Senor, perhaps you would like a turn. Nonsense, Niccolo. You want to become a swordsman? Yes, ever since my father was betrayed Good. by- Good, consider this your pre-training. So, who is the girl? What? Who is the girl? Don't give up, Nicola. A swordsman must have an indomitable will. What go? Uh... Oh, no, 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 that's Niccolo. He's young and indeed still high of voice. But give him some time and some fencing lessons. We'll make a proper gentleman of him yet. You really think... Uh... Right. Oh, don't move. Stop right there. Gotta pay the fee if you want to get through. Says who? Says us. Hand over all your gold. Now hey, see here. Just do as he says. I don't want to no trouble. Nonsense. This is unjust and ungentlemanly. Hand over all the gold or we'll make you an ungentleman. <laughs> what he said. Very well. All my gold, you say? All you have. And then you'll let us pass? That's the idea. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? This is all I have. <laughs> This is a sack of marbles. Precisely. We'll be off then. The fees increase. Now, it's your life. More expensive. <laughs> Niccolo, you're in luck. You're about to see a preview of the advanced forms. Watch closely. I believe an introduction is in order. I am the audience Lesson number one. Never underestimate your opponent. <laughs> Lesson number two. Always remove your cloak before a fight. Lesson number three. Remember to hold on to your sword. You're lucky. That move killed my last opponent. Your disarm? <laughs> Ah, this lesson.
lesson has come to a close. I trust you'll allow me to pass. Splendid. <laughs> On your way. And remember, when danger doth call and the country hath need, Fiore de Liberi can help with his bleed. Play. Play. Don't you realize what you've just done? Yes, about three minutes, not bad. No, those were the Duke's guards. What? Clearly, those were highwaymen. A Duke's guards upholds the law, not breaks them. Maybe where you come from, around Piacenza, we are not so lucky. Peasants say the darndest things. Niccolo, we seem to have found you a proper sword. What about the forms? I suppose they can be bent. Only just a little, when nobody's looking. <sighs> ah. <laughs> Hold it gently. Between the thumb and forefinger, just like that. Good. The rest depends on mastering footwork. Chenza. I have a good feeling about this one. Look, Signore, it's you. I am wanted by the Duke for his fighting guard. Wonderful. I was hoping for the post of Swordmaster, but all in good time. Um, um, Signore. Ah, you found me. Here I am. I don't think that, uh... Oh. My interview. <laughs> <laughs>